Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about performance bottleneck. So as a performance tester, you will be finding performance bottleneck in your system by doing the performance testing. Uh, we will understand what is bottleneck first. So if you see this picture, uh, the water flow is being restricted uh, by a neck of the bottle. Similarly, a bottleneck occurs when a capacity of a system or a computer system or an application is limited by a single component. So in this example, if you see uh, the neck of the bottle is restricting the flow of the water from the bottle, right? So using this terminology, the concept is called the bottleneck, right? The neck of the bottle is uh, restricting the water flow. So similarly, performance bottleneck is a performance degradation of an application uh, due to one or more of its application components misbehaving. So let's say your application's uh, database server or an app server is misbehaving. So in that case, you can uh, you can experience a performance bottleneck. Okay, and this can happen under uh, certain load conditions. So let's say your application uh, needs to be support uh, needs to support uh, some hundred concurrent users, but your app service is not able to handle let's say ten number of users or ten concurrent users. So in that case, uh, your app app server becomes the bottleneck, and it can happen in uh, different load conditions and due to this performance bottleneck uh, your system can respond slowly so uh, it will be having a slower response time and it can uh, expect uh, like it can uh, behave unexpectedly and uh, users can see uh, a more number of errors uh, while accessing the application so due to this is uh, due, due to this uh, issues it's uh, it's important that we find the performance bottleneck in the application and fix it. So let's take an example of a different performance bottleneck. So let's say uh, your app server supports some 500 connections, but your database server only supports 10 connections. So in this case, the database server can become a performance bottleneck, right? Because your app server is capable of handling 500 uh, connections, but it is being restricted by your database server, which supports only 10. So in this case, the database server is the performance bottleneck. Similarly, your application is supporting some 100 concurrent users load, but uh, the third party API that your application uses supports only 20 concurrent users load. So in, the, in this case, uh, the third party API becomes the performance bottleneck because although your application is able to uh, concurrently support 100 users load, your uh, third party API will not be able to do that because it is supporting only 20 concurrent users load. So in this case, the third party API is a performance bottleneck. So what causes the performance bottleneck? So some of the common reasons are listed here, uh, insufficient hardware resources. So let's say your application uh, CPU or memory are not adequate to handle the user load. So in that case, performance bottleneck cannot occur. Uh, software configuration issues. So let's say one of your settings uh, in the application is not configured properly. In that case, the performance bottleneck can occur. Uh, poorly written code. So in case, let's say you, uh, your developers has used any uh, inefficient algorithm or uh, you know they are uh, generally following the poor coding practice. So in that case, the uh, performance bottleneck can also occur. Uh, another reason for that can be the uh, unoptimized database. Uh, so let's say the uh, database of your application is not normalized or the database queries are not optimized properly. So that can be uh, one of the reasons for the uh, performance bottleneck. And uh, one of the reasons could be the third party services. So uh, as we have seen in the example before, uh, some of the third party services that your uh, web application or your mobile application uses can uh, cause your application to slow down. Okay. Uh, so when you run the performance test and uh, you notice that there is a performance bottleneck so what do you do after that is you track down that performance bottleneck and that process is known as the performance analysis or the bottleneck analysis and uh, this can be done by uh, by taking help of certain tools like the APM uh, that is the application performance management tools or the profiling tools so application performance management tools, uh, they monitor your application environment 
and provide you with the detailed metrics uh, about your per application performance so you can track down any performance bottlenecks uh, some of the uh, famous apm tools which are uh, which are uh, used are app dynamics neuralic and dynatrix uh, another tools uh, that we can uh, used to track down the performance bottlenecks are the profiling tools so uh, these are mainly used by the developers to you know check some coding uh, items like how much how longer is the uh, certain method is uh, taking or how the uh, garbage collection is uh, behaving when you know the number of users load are increasing in the application and all those things so profiling helps in uh, uncovering all these issues. Uh, some of the profiling tools which are commonly used are JConsole, uh, JProfiler, VisualVM, etc. So you can track down any bottlenecks or the performance issues by using uh, the uh, combination of like the APM tools and the profiling tools.